Hello, this is Osaju914. It's October 30th, 10.030. Spooky Night Eve. Halloweenness is in the air. I can feel it. Like, I can feel a pumpkin if one was on my head. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's October 30th. It's almost Halloween. And I'm making my third video. Cool. Um, the theme of the week is top 10 hobbies. And I had to think about this for a second. I was like, do I even have 10 hobbies? I mean, do I really have a life? I mean, let me think. Um, well, for starters, we're going to start with singing and piano playing because those are my two big hobbies right now. Well, not piano playing so much because I don't have a piano. But when I get one, it will be a big hobby, as it was in the past. So singing, piano playing, reading, cooking, writing. That's five. Um, Alright, so I think those are like the five exciting hobbies. Then we're going to go to the five boring ones that I do. Um, hmm. Or wait, you know what? Forget that generalization. There's that five. There's singing, piano playing, cooking, reading, writing, then acting, coin collecting, um, people watching. That's a great hobby. For those of you who don't do that, you should totally do that. You learn a lot about people and see some pretty interesting stuff. So those three, two more. Um... Just being ridiculous. That also makes a good hobby for those of you who don't do that from time to time. You know, just I mean, someone actually kind of got on my case yesterday for being unprofessional. But you know what? Screw you. It's life. There is no profession. It's just life. Um. And then there's one more. God, what's this other hobby? Yeah. Um, I'm about to start a workout regimen, so working out, I guess, would be number 10. Yay! Ho hello, what? Ooh, we just went in the twilight somewhere, it just got really dark. Um, okay. Jeez, the camera angle's messing up. Okay, this is cool. We're back. So... Those are my top 10 hobbies. And last week I did Chain of Fools, which got mixed response. And I said this week I would be doing Chelsea Morning by Joni Mitchell. And so I will be doing that. So here. Oh, by the way, I'm fully recovered. So I'm going to be sounding better than I was in the last couple weeks. So, here comes Chelsea Morning by Joni Mitchell. Woke up, it was a Chelsea morning, and the first thing that I heard was a song outside my window, and the traffic wrote the words. It came ringing up like Christmas bells and wrapping up like pipes and drums. Oh, won't your stay? We'll put on the day and we'll wear it till the night comes. Woke up, it was a Chelsea morning and the first thing that I saw was the sun through yellow curtains and a rainbow on the wall blue red green and gold to welcome you crimson crystal beads to beckon oh won't you stay we'll put on the day there's a sun show every second now the curtain opens on a portrait of today and the streets are paved with passers-by And pigeons fly and papers lie Waiting to blow away
Woke up, it was a Chelsea morning, and the first thing that I knew, there was milk and toast and honey, and a bowl of oranges too. And the sun poured in like butterscotch, and stuck to all my senses. Oh, won't you stay, we'll put on the day, and we'll talk in present tenses. But when the curtain closes and the rainbow runs away, I will bring you incense owls by night, by candlelight, by jewel light, if only you will stay. Pretty baby, won't you wake up? It's a Chelsea morning. That was Chelsea morning. And covered by many, including Judy Collins and Neil Diamond and Joni Mitchell herself. And I believe Sandy Denny and the Fairport Convention also did it. But that's all for this week. I know last video was really long, so this one's going to be really short. So, peace, love, hold on a second. Love, and how do I do this? I'm not going to try to do Music. That's it. Peace, love, and music. Um, okay. And my question for the next viewer. I almost forgot. Um, oh, or not the next viewer, the next poster. Um, who, who have you seen performing live? And has that affected you as a musician, just seeing them perform live. Um, and this is also for the viewers, if any of you have seen a concert that really affected you musically or not musically, just leave a comment and thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in November. Holy crap, where did 2009 go? Um, but yeah, so I'll see you in November. Peace, love, music!